Hi folks, here we are, 2019, and I'm going to give you a little update as to what we're going to be up to this year, and also some uh, slight changes I'm going to be doing to my life. I'll tell you about that in a second. See you in a minute. Right, well as you know, I've had uh, problems over the last couple of months or so. I've not been putting the videos out. I've still got to finish the transit van, still got to finish the trot van. We've had Christmas, I've been in hospital, I'm out now. I've still got this shoulder problem though, which I've got an x-ray on the 10th of this month, which is next week coming up, and also some ultrasound on it as well. So um, I've obviously laid off of the big stuff and moving about sort of heavy lifting and stuff like that because of the shoulder injury. That's why you've not seen any videos. But um, I have been doing other stuff. I've been keeping up busy on the Retro Hacks channel and uh, putting videos out on there. And uh, also, I just thought I'd show you about some new stuff I've actually brought as well. As you probably know, being a YouTuber and putting out regular videos means that you're using materials, you're using a lot of stuff, and that all costs money, and you have to sort of top your materials up. I mean, things like this, for example, this is the trolley jack, which you've probably seen I restored on the uh, Retro Hacks channel there. And to do that, you obviously need paint, you need sanding materials, you need seals and stuff like that. All this stuff costs money, and it does get down replenish, and you've got to keep on top of that and replenish it because you've always putting out videos. So these are the typical sort of jobs that I'm doing on retro hacks. The sort of smaller jobs that I can do on the worktop sort of thing, which is which is handy as you know. And uh, I also done this over here. Let me show you. You may remember this uh, pillar drill that I've actually restored on the Retro Hacks channel and it's working now. Someone did say that the spring on the side needs to be tightened up. Yeah, I know that. I haven't done it yet. But I've put it on this workshop here at the moment. It's even lifting that arm up like that is hurting my shoulder. So I've got to be careful when I do sort of stuff like that. But uh, it's too high to be honest with you because the actual drill is at eye level there. God, I've just pulled it again, look. So um, I'm going to be lowering, putting this in a different position over the other side of the workshop and actually lowering it down. So it's probably normal height. It's a bit too high where it is there. But yeah, I'm keeping this. This is a very handy tool. I've used it many times already uh, on my Retro Hacks channel for sort of polishing and buffing. But people did mention to me before, as you probably know, that um, I have been using my pistol drill with uh, wire wheels in and people said, oh, you know, you've got to get a decent grinder. Not a grinder, a decent uh, buffing wheel. Well, I've actually got a buffing wheel, as you probably know, the old one. And uh, I've actually gone out and bought a new one. And uh, I bought some of this as well. This is what I've been using in my sandblasting cabinet. Someone did ask me this the other day. I get this from Machine Mart. This come in at £39.59 plus the VAT. So, And it's aluminium oxide abrasive. The reason why I got that is because my cabinet, I think I put two in there. Over here. Just open it up for a minute. But the level's a little bit low in there. Let's turn that light on there. It's a bit dirty. I need me plastic lens changing on the top there. But as you can see, it's probably a little bit low in there, so I'm going to put that new container in. And again, I've got to watch my bleeding shoulder, yeah? Let's peel that off. Hold on. Get that cover off of there. Right, okay, here we go. That's it. There we go. That's a bit better. There we go, that's nice. So that's that, I'm happy with it. So, I mean, even filling up things like this, you know, this is not cheap, 30, 40, that's about 120 quid's worth of grit in there. You can buy that cheap powdered glass stuff, which I've had before, but uh, that didn't last long. So, as you can probably see, running a YouTube channel can actually take up a lot of your time and also cost you a few bob in tools and materials, stuff like that. Now don't forget, I actually actively run three YouTube channels, as I have done for like many years now, and I've got to the stage now where I've had to sort of streamline stuff and rethink my strategy now, and what I'm going to be doing is shutting down, as you probably know, those of you who are members of my other channel, or those of you who actually buy merchandise off of us, we actually do produce our own merchandise, because we've had a t-shirt printing business for many, many years, me and Sharon. Sharon's doing a lot of that work now. But uh, we're, we're obviously moving forward now, and I've got to concentrate on these two channels. So we're going to be giving up the t-shirt printing, and we're going to be selling the equipment. So if any of you who have been having t-shirts off us on a regular basis, uh, people like Dave Jaguar and a few other YouTubers as well, and also some clubs and that, we're no longer going to be doing t-shirts and all that. So I'm sorry about that, but uh, obviously we've got to move on now. 
and commitment and family commitments and stuff also dictate that we haven't got the time personally to run the three business successfully so something's had to give and after 13 years we're hanging up our t-shirt pliers so to speak and we're going to be concentrating well i'm going to be concentrating on these sharon's just started her new hobby now which is a, a needle craft a hobby she's got a brand new embroidery machine and stuff like that which she's interested in so we're going to be going down that pathway now you're going to be seeing a lot more videos coming up on retro hats as i say uh, I'm gearing myself up now for these videos and as far as the uh, outstanding projects which I've got for the Retro Restore channel, things like the uh, Trotter van, things like the Transit van and also I've still got the TGB moped and stuff like that. They're going to be coming up in the uh, better weather. Once I've got my shoulder sorted out, I'm going to be throwing some money now at the uh, Reliant Regal. You know I've got to get the head skimmed on that. We've also got to buy... Uh, other items like a clutch for that we've got to buy uh, uh, an alternator conversion kit we've also got to get a starter motor we've got many other little things to buy for that before we can put it back together so i'm going to be investing the funds to be doing that before obviously that's going to be up and running hopefully before the summer comes this year a lot of people wanted to see that so my commitment at the moment now is obviously to my family we're closing down the t-shirt business so uh, we've had 13 good years in that by the way and uh earned quite a few bob in that and uh, we've been very happy and we've had loads of happy customers and all that but uh, as you can see, it can cost a lot of money and also keeping up with uh, putting out regular content on YouTube. People don't see behind the scenes. This is a bit of behind the scenes stuff here. And also the camera you're watching me on now is a brand new camera. That come in at sort of four to five hundred pounds worth of camera there. And uh, obviously lighting and stuff like that. None of this is cheap. And then after you've done all this, bought all this, done the tutorials, then you've got to go and sit down and then you've got to do the other stuff, which is editing the, the videos and all that. Uh, and uploading the content and that all takes a lot of time as well so yeah there you go there we go that's our uh, life now our life decisions for 2019 so hope we do keep tuned and let's say look out for these new little restoration car videos if you're interested in them i'm going to be putting them in a single playlist on our retro restore channel so yes we've got the big projects which we've got to get out obviously and uh, we're going to be throwing some money at them but i'm going to be waiting until my shoulder gets better because you've just seen the trouble i had earlier on when i lifted my arm up under load and it, it gives me problems straight away i don't want to aggravate it till i know exactly what the problem is with that so we're just going to have to deal with it and produce some smaller content uh, and obviously the lawnmowers a lot of people asked about the lawnmower video as well for the trot of it video the trot of lawnmower which we've got there yeah, that's coming up still coming up the weather's been very cold out here as you know and I've not been well and I've also been spending time over the Christmas family time. Anyway, enough of that. Thanks very much for supporting us on your t-shirt channel. Those of you, I'm going to be leaving the videos up on there, obviously, because that used to take a lot of time with me answering questions on that uh, channel and also the support I used to provide on that now. So I'm trying to phase that down now, although I'm still selling the t-shirt and uh, mug training DVDs. So people will still gain my uh, information and knowledge, which I've gained over the last 13 years in that venture. But uh, this is where we are now. We're just stocking up for our new... Uh, ventures and stuff like that with new tools and stuff like that and uh, anyway that's it so thanks very much hope you have a good happy new year and we'll see you in the up and coming videos on this and also on my retro hacks channel do subscribe to my retro hacks channel as well you'll see content on there on a regular basis definitely every wednesday maybe twice a week i'm not too sure yet anyway thanks very much see you in the next video and until then bye for now